they are less similar to themselves than they are to other terms. Right? right? Um, so in every row, the, uh, the diagonal elements in that row would be the, the largest. And so in this row, for example, I can say 11, 4, 6. So 11 is, of course, the term is more similar to itself. If I have to pick one term uh, that is next, you know, one closest term, then I'll pick the 6 as of now. OK? The only other question is, can I normalize it? Can I normalize it such that basically the size of these diagonal elements really should, would depend upon how many times the words are present in the corpus. Whether or not two words are correlated doesn't depend on how often each of them is present in the corpus. So I have a word which is present in 0.00001% of the documents. Um, another word which is also present in 0.0001% of the documents, but they are perfectly correlated. That means every document where this occurs, this also occurs. Capturing correlation is different from capturing how frequent each of the words is. So what I really want to do is do some sort of a normalization where all of these become ones, so that each term is expected to be most similar to itself. And let's assume the similarity is one. And then normalize it such that everything else is with respect to that. And we'll see next class that one way of doing this is essentially think in terms of the, you know, the you take, you normalize it by saying, Correlation of UV, which is the term UV um, in this document, in this matrix, divided by correlation of a term to itself, plus correlation of the other term to itself, minus correlation of each of those terms. Because when you compute this, in some sense, think of it as computing the union, and then you have to subtract the intersection because the intersection gets counted twice. Right? So if I do CUV by CUU plus CVV minus CUV for this, you know, you can go back and look at it. Um, I'll get this this matrix. Here, essentially, everything is one, one, one. And in this particular case, it so happens that actually the most closest element to this term is still this. So if I'm looking for one sim most similar element to T1, I would pick this. And one more similar element to this guy, I'll be this. One more similar element to this guy, I'll be this. So I have computed correlations. OK? Um, uh, we would not do any of this right now, but I want to show you. Well, I spent a bit. Actually, how many of you have started typing um, you know, an email address? And then Google tries to tell you, maybe you want to send me to these other people. How do you think it's done? This is my email. If you are always sending mails to people, certain set of group of people, then uh, even if you are trying to send only one of them, Google will say, maybe you want to send it to these other people. You should thank goodness that it doesn't actually complete it. Because in which case, if you are sending one of your best friends, very bad things about your second best friend, you know, <laughs> please put that there. Okay? But this is basically a collection of you know, continue with that part of it.